the narcissist will never leave you if you do this. There are certain things we do that can push the narcissist away. Certain things that they don't like. If you do these things, the narcissist will no longer desire to be around you. But there are also things that the narcissist does like. There are certain things that you can do to make the narcissist desire to be around you. If you don't want the narcissist to leave you, if you want the narcissist to remain in your life, here is what you have to do. Be a doormat. Be submissive and allow the narcissist to dominate you. Be ready to conform to the authority or will of the narcissist. Be obedient or passive. Let them have control over you. Let them have the power to influence and direct your behavior and the course of events. And don't make any attempts to fight back. Don't make any attempts to question or confront them or hold them accountable for their behavior. Let them do as they wish and take responsibility for it. If they make a fault or mistake, let them shift the blame onto you. If they reveal a flaw or imperfection, let them project their insecurities onto you. For the narcissist to not want to leave, you have to be the enabler. You have to be the person who enables the abuse to take place. You have to be the person who makes it possible, the person who allows it to happen. The narcissist will never leave you if you validate their false self and the illusions that they are trying to portray. If you feed their ego and make them feel as though they are special and important, attractive and desirable, regardless of how they treat you, they are not going to leave you. The narcissist does not want to acknowledge the truth about themselves. They do not want to exist in reality. They hate reality. It reflects back everything about themselves that they do not like. So they prefer to live in denial of reality, in denial of any truth. They created a false self who is everything that they are not, everything that they wish they were. But because the false self is not real, they cannot sustain it on their own. They need someone around them at all times to constantly prop up their false self and validate their illusions of superiority. But to do this, you also have to remove any sense of individuality. You cannot be yourself anymore. You have to be who the narcissist wants you to be. You have to think how they want you to think. Feel how they want you to feel. And behave in the way that they would like. You cannot be yourself. You cannot have your own characteristics or qualities, your own likes or interests. 
Because that would mean that you have a separate existence. A life outside of them. And the narcissist sees you as an object that exists to serve them. You cannot have a life of your own. You are a component to their survival. They cannot live without you. So you should not live without them. They see you as an extension of them. Not as something that is separate. So you cannot have your own identity. You cannot have your own individual characteristics or qualities, likes or interests. You have to adopt the narcissist way of thinking. The narcissist values and ideals. If you are willing to detach from reality and live in this fake world with a narcissist, they are not going to leave you. But as soon as you put one foot out of their world, it is going to be a problem. It is going to cause an argument. And your relationship with the narcissist will be on the line. So if you don't want the narcissist to leave you, ignore the truth. Pretend like it doesn't exist. Detach yourself from reality. See the narcissist as this perfect, flawless specimen of life and see yourself as someone who is not worthy or deserving of being in the narcissist's presence. But although you might not be worthy or deserving of being in, in the presence of such an impressive and imposing individual, you should still feel and display your appreciation of them and how fortunate you feel to be around them. You should feel fortunate that they have chosen you as their emotional trash can. You should feel fortunate that they have chosen you to hab habitually exploit and rely on. You should see it as a privilege. You should see it as a special right or advantage. By doing this, you will be validating the narcissist's false sense of self and also their false perception of you, which makes it very unlikely that they are going to leave you. You become their life support. You maintain their essential functions. You regulate their emotions. You boost their self-worth, self-esteem and self-importance and enable them to remain in denial of the truth and reality of the situation. If you do this correctly, in most situations, the narcissist will not leave you. They will still desire to be around you. But is that what you really want? Is that what you really need? What we all really want is just to be happy. We want to have a sense of trust and confidence in something. We want to feel satisfied. But even if the narcissist never leaves you, are you ever going to feel satisfied? Are you ever really going to feel happy? Happiness does not come from anything outside of us. Happiness comes from within. It comes from having a sense of progress 
forward movement towards a destination. But how can you ever move forward when the narcissist is always holding you back? You will never have a sense of individuality. You will never have a life outside of them. You will always be taking care of them instead of taking care of yourself. You will never be happy with a narcissist. Take control of your life. Separate yourself from the narcissist. Discover yourself again. Redevelop your characteristics and qualities. Get involved in your likes and interests again. Remember what you valued. Remember what you believed in. And you will find happiness. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsfibercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.